Hello everyone, it's me again, and I have a message to anyone who tries the experiments about putting a fidget spinner under the hand dryer. So, this will be shocking, and it's going to be an important lesson, and just to give you advice for that. Okay, guys, whenever, if you do the experiments about putting a fidget spinner under the hand dryer, so, you have to be careful when you hold the fidget spinner tight while you put the fidget spinner under the hand dryer to let it spin faster and then after that you take the fidget spinner out out of the hand dryer then you need to hold tight to let it spin much longer until it stops. So. Do not attempt to try this at home because it can be very dangerous and you could get yourself injured. So you need to be careful and be cautious for this. So whenever if you do the experiment about putting a fidget spinner under the hand dryer at any places, do not attempt to try this at home. So you have to be careful when you do the experiment. So, just to give you advice for that. So, although I did the experiment about putting a fidget spinner under the hand dryer at some places, such as Walmart, uh, TJ Maxx, or some places. So, but do not try this at home. I mean it. It can be very dangerous and you could get yourself injured. So, you gotta be careful. So, although, uh, in the recent video, while I put the fidget spinner under the hand dryer, when I test the experiment for all that, since I just hold tight while the hand dryer is going to blow it off and then let it spin about, about 900, 99 uh, RPM which is basically fast so have to be careful and don't want to get ourselves hurt so have to hold tight on and then let it spin until it stops so have to be careful with this so if you guys are willing to do the experiment about putting a fidget spinner under the hand dryer, please be careful and do not try this at home. So, hope you guys understand this message. So, that's all I have to say to you. Bye guys.